Hello guys, Keep Right On TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 50 likes. And if we haven't already, make sure to drop us up. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Birmingham City Takeover once again. Now I know there's been no fresh updates surrounding the takeover, but we're going to be talking about um, the takeover anyway. So, um, as we know, BSH, BSHL have been in power. They've been the Birmingham City owners for seven years, coming up to seven years. And that looks to be coming to an end by the looks of it and by reports. Um, even the club made a statement about it. Now, what these owners have actually done to our football club in the last seven years should be a criminal offence. It shouldn't be allowed. They should be put in prison for this. Because how can you... And this doesn't just 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 um, just um doesn't go just for the owners that we've got. I mean... How can you get away with taking money out, taking money out of the football club, running the football club to the ground, bringing it to its knees? This football club has literally been brought to its knees. The amount of times that we've just scraped the barrel, surviving the drop. If we was in League One, God knows what would happen to this football club. We have been so, so close on numerous occasions to being in League One and to being on the brink of financial ruin. The Jude Bellingham sale literally saved the club. Apparently, that's what I've heard. The Jude Bellingham sale, if we, were, if we wasn't... Um, if we didn't get £25 million for Jude Bellingham from Borussia Dortmund or from any other club, that will, that's, that's probably why he had to leave, to be fair. And he wanted to leave anyway, let's be honest. He, he didn't want to stay at Blues. But I'm sick and tired of every single summer transfer window and every single January transfer window doing videos saying we're linked to this player, linked to that player, and they're not any good. We're battling for mediocre players, players that are completely finished, like League One. We're linked with League One players, free agents every single summer. But that, hopefully, is about to change and now, well, I'm not. I'm saying now, but it, it's looking like it's going to be done. Um, I'm. I'm just ho hoping it is anyway. Um, and we can finally start investing money into this football club. Finally, fix the stadium. It's about time. We're an embarrassment to football. Let's be fair. I know we all love the football club, but we are an, an embarrassment to the English uh, football league. How can you have a stadium? Look. Do they, can they even, do they, I think the owners now, BSHL, they, they're not even bothered. They don't want to fix the stadium. This is why the football club has to be sold as soon as possible. And if we can get new owners in within the next two months, before the summer transfer window, or even halfway through it, it's better later than never, then we can start actually investing in this squad, investing in the football club, refixing fixing the stadium. I think... The new owner's job, the, ma the main priority is to fix the lower tilt and, and the lower cop. It's absolutely ridiculous how we've gone nearly two years. Nearly two years with the lower tilt and the cop closed. That is a, an absolute embarrassment. We're the second city, Birmingham City Football Club, once in Europe, once in the Premier League. And now these owners have put us on the brink multiple times, like I said at the start of the video, of financial ruin. Quite literally, I'm bored of finishing 17th, 18th every single season. And something has to change. And thank God it looks like things are looking up for Blues. The 23-24 season could actually be a new dawn for Birmingham City Football Club. It could be. Jeremy Dale, please save us. I hope, it, I hope it's him. I hope it's him, um, one of the potential uh, new owners coming into the football club. But yeah, anyway, it's been Keyboard on TV. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Let's see if we can hit 50 likes, like I said. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Looks like we're getting our club back, and these owners are finally, finally gone. Not officially, but yeah, anyway. Thanks for watching, as always. Keyboard on